How's it going? It's Bill Stage, and I am with Glenn Cole from Midwest Ale Works with a couple big announcements. Mainly, we've been talking about this for, uh, I don't know, about a month or so from now. Uh, the flagship, uh, most popular beer over there, MAW. Let's just say it didn't have the best name in the world. Classic Kolsch. It probably described it just fine, but uh, a beer that, uh, that is so good deserves a good name. Glenn, did we decide who was the big winner of this, uh, this contest? We did. Uh, over 200 suggestions on the post that we had done uh, came in comments, came in uh, messages from all over the place, people that have moved away from the Quad Cities, uh, messages us from Chicago, South Carolina, all kinds of places. So we did come down to a name and we chose Old Maud as the name. Uh, I Thomas like it. Benson. Yeah, Thomas Benson was, uh, was the uh, suggester on that one. And uh, the, the story behind it was just too good to pass up. So uh, the largest car manufacturer in the uh, early 1900s was in Moline. Um, the Belly 30 was the car, the first car that Belly um, car company made, and it was nicknamed Old Maud. Uh, we have ah. the nickname Paul, so it kind of like goes together, and we're in an old car manufacturing plant, our brewery is. So uh, it just went too well. There were so many good suggestions. Uh, narrowed it down to about five that were that could have you know easily could have been it, but uh, we went with our with our car roots in our building and uh, yeah. Old Maud is the name. Very cool. You get a free growler or anything like that. He's gonna get a prize package of of uh, lots of lots of things from us. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, congratulations, Thomas. Old Maud. I can't wait to get over there and uh, check that out. Have you designed? Uh, uh, can for that yet, or is that still in the works? Yep, so uh, we're going with the exact same label that we had uh, thrown the insert your name or whatever we had on there, but uh, it's already been updated to Old Mod, so we'll be posting that on our uh, social media uh, cool. probably tomorrow uh, for people that didn't catch this video. So uh, yeah, it's, cool. uh, it's ready to go. That's awesome, and that's not the only thing you guys got going on over there, something very cool. Uh, tell me yeah. a little about, about this foundation. Yeah, when one uh, promotion ends, another one begins. So we have um, our July promotion is uh, we've partnered up with the Brantley Francis Foundation. Uh, it's a, a, a local uh, nonprofit out of Geneseo that uh, I've worked with before and brewed beer with before and a uh, great family doing great things for pediatric cancer. Uh, we, we partnered up with them. We're going to make a beer called Buzz Cut, which is a prickly pear and watermelon wheat. Uh, I brewed it today on the small batch system. Um, and we're gonna be hosting a fundraiser when we release that beer. Uh, it's gonna be released on the last Sunday of July. And we're gonna be doing a big fundraiser down here. We're asking people to shave their heads or cut their hair. So uh, we're gonna have businesses that are gonna be donating um, for, for every person that cuts their hair, that's enough to be uh, donated or, um, anyone that shaves their head. And uh, we'll be raising as much money as we can for pediatric cancer, plus the beer that we're releasing, a dollar from every pour of that is gonna go to the Brantley Francis Foundation. That's great, that's great. I'm about due, so it's perfect timing, I think. Yeah, grow it out, grow it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what I'll I can do by the end of July. I'm gonna shave my head for it, so. Oh, that's fantastic, I can't wait. <laughs> All right, well, that's great over there at uh, Midwest Dale Works. Anything else we need to be talking about? Nope. Uh, again, we released the all together uh, just on Sunday. So we do have a few cans of that left. That was our collaboration with Bent River, uh, Radical Effect, Geneseo Brewing, and my new project, Cat's Cradle. So that's still available in 24 ounce cans for $8. And $2 from every can goes to uh, local hospitality workers. Oh, well, that's great. That's a lot of good causes over there. Thank you, Glenn. Midwest Ale Works, the brand new, get over there and check out the brand new Old Mod. Uh, over there next to the Rust Belt in East Moline. Try their uh, delicious beer and, and uh, some of it for a great cause. Thank you very much. That's what's happening, Glenn Cole.